another MacBook defeated by dust. Um, this has no signs of liquid damage. I don't really, you know, not, no, no, no misuse that I can tell. It looks like a well taken care of MacBook, but it's a MacBook and MacBooks like to die when they get a little bit dusty on the backside of the board. Uh, this is running five volts, very low current. It's a, uh, A1990, I believe. Yeah, it's a T2 machine. Um, it's running five volts, very low current. This is generally just a short on, you know, main PB bus basically. Um, let's switch over to this so we can see what we're doing. Um, close that. Let's check our voltage on the ZPP bus. It's going to be on these fuses right here. Let's see, we're basically measuring this. All right, very low, very low. We already kind of know what the problem is because we've seen this a lot, um, but we'll just double check. So we don't want to guess. And 0.7 ohms, so yeah, short. PP bus, we're gonna send power into it and then look on a thermal camera to see what's getting spicy. Uh, first thing I'll probably do here is actually just dust off the board too and look at it. Uh, there's a decent enough uh, chance that maybe we can just see what's bad. I'm actually just going to look right now. So work smarter and harder. Um, okay. It looks okay. I'm going to take off these rubber things because they annoy me. I'm going to get in my way. Okay, we're going to do something. Okay, so we have a big wire soldered to PP bus. Um, I like to just put them somewhere near the edge of the board. It's kind of easiest, and we have a nice little spot here where we're not really near anything else, so I can put my big wire. Um, we're sending two volts at five amps. I'm gonna take the ground probe from my power supply and just put it on one of these screw threads on the board, and I'll turn on our power supply. I see this sort of high current draw. Let me pull up my, uh, okay. Let me get this in focus. There we go. That is our bad boy. Actually, nowhere near the dust. We'll replace that and this should work. This wire right here is masquerading as a capacitor. We already looked on the thermal camera, but you can also see this sort of stuff with like isopropyl alcohol. Get in close on this guy. All right. Obviously, you know, finding this without the thermal cam would be a lot harder, but we can see how quickly it evaporates this, um, this alcohol. That thing's getting, yeah, there we go. It sizzles it right off. So that's our bad boy. We're going to remove it and replace it. Uh, and we'll be back again. Got to grab a donor. Actually, don't currently have a donor for this, so we're going to use the part search function on Flexboard View and find a capacitor on another board. And use that. Okay, I got slightly trolled with the part search feature. Um, it's just kind of a weirdly sized capacitor, this 08 uh, 05 1. So it looks like it exists on A1708 boards and 1999 and the Z1990 board, which is the board we have here now. I just don't have this exact donor. Uh, surprisingly, it's not on any of the other 15 inch ones. There's not one with a similar spec and size. So uh, we grabbed an A1708 board, um, which is gonna be here. It's gonna be this cap right here at the edge of the board. So we'll remove the one uh, that's bad on this board, make sure our short's gone, and then we'll um, 
replace it. Really, this cap pretty much looks fine. It's a little bit weird looking, but I wouldn't see that and immediately think, oh, God, there's a problem. If we ran a bunch of power through it, I mean, then we'll probably pop, but we don't need to do that. We know it's bad. Um, okay, let's do flux. Let's do hot air. This guy in here. Alright, this is our donor. We don't care about melting the plastic. Short is gone. It's gone. We see the resistance climbing, and we should see you know, something in the in the kilo ohms range on this. So this should be fine now. I'm gonna remove our uh, wire. Let's clean up this little bit of flux residue. Let's see what the board does now. It's still pretty warm. Yeah, not really hot to the touch. I think we're fine. Okay, I'm gonna plug in power. And let's see what happens now. We need 20 volts. See current climbing up, heating's getting warm. We should be turning on now. We'll reassemble this and test. The MacBook lives. It was a nice, uh, quick and easy fix. There wasn't really, um, you know, a whole lot of note on there. Basically, a single bad capacitor defeated the MacBook. Uh, basically, a little bit dusty. Probably shorted out that line. Uh, should be all good. Passed the Apple diagnostic test. Uh, and this will be back to its MacBook duties now. And we'll see you in the next one.